Hey beauties, or should I say Denona darlings? <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. Today I am doing the Denona Darlings collaboration with a group of my beautiful, talented friends. What we are doing today is shopping our Natasha Denona stash, and we each selected two different palettes, a large one and a mini one, and then we drew names <laughs> so that we could send each other inspiration. In this collaboration, we have the beautiful Bendy Kinky Sweat, or Alicia, and then we have Glam Girl Chelsea, or known as Chelsea, my sweet, sweet thing, and then, uh, duh, Kelsey Brianna Bay, Dr. Bay in the house, Morgan Turner, the sweet, soft-spoken angel, and then my beauty queen Tara Lynn also known as she's the comic of the group she is so funny <laughs> each of us are creating two different looks using the two different palettes that we selected and basing it off of the inspiration we were given now the inspiration that I was given are these pictures right here and they were given to me by Miss Tara Lynn. So I'm taking these photos and I am going to draw inspiration from them. And the palettes that I have to use today are the Natasha Denona Tropic palette. This is what I have on my eyes right now. And then the mini one that I used is the Glam palette. Moving on to the tutorials, I'm gonna start off with a look that I did with a mini glam palette. Now I took this one just a little bit more literally than I did this one. I'll explain this one after, but I'm gonna start off with this. And I took that smoky bronze eye and I applied it to this palette in the colors that I have in here, which you do have some of the bronzy colors in here and the brown, but then you also have this beautiful green that I just, I really wanted to play this up, use all the textures and blow it out and create this bronzy with a hint of green, just smoked out look. Without further ado, let's get started. I'm first gonna start off by applying a little bit of MAC Costa Riche right on the outer corner and about halfway onto the lid. I don't want to give that too much time to dry, so I'm going to go in right away with a Ruffer 03, and I'm just going to kind of smudge that out and slightly upward. And I will bring the smudge part towards the inner corner. Then I'm going to go in one more time right at the lash base without smudging it. I'm going to take this and apply it to the lower lash line as well. You don't have to really worry about this being super like clean because it's going to be all covered up anyway. Buffing that out again with that same Refer 03. Kind of creating a little bit of like an extension right on the outer corner. And then I'm also gonna take Costa Riche right on the inner rim of the lower lash line. Forewarning, turn away if you don't want to see this. <laughs> I'm applying Milk Boss Liner to the top inner rim. I haven't set any portion of my eye, but normally I would have done underneath my brow by now, but for whatever reason I didn't. So I'm going to go in with Max Blanc Type on a MAC 252 and just go right underneath the brow. I don't like to set anywhere else other than like right here. Moving on to the palette, I'm going to grab the darkest matte on a Zoeva 227. I am going to start applying that kind of right over the edge of the liner and then into the outer corner or onto the outer corner. Blending upward. Okay. 
I'm really making sure that this stays focused on the outer portion of the eye. Even as I go upward, I want it to go this way, not this way. Wayne Goss number 18 and this greenish color. I'm kind of going to tap this on the lid over the brown, up to the crease, and again, kind of merging it into the last color. Circular motions to blend this upward. I'm going in with a second layer. Smith 247, first shade in the palette. I'm going to be placing this on the front portion, tapping over the green, blending into the green. and slightly buffing upward. 227 and that deep brown again. I'm just gonna kind of stamp just a little bit more of this right on the outer corner. MAC 242, last color, highlighting the brow arch. Wayne Goss 27S going back in with the green. I'm going to apply that right on top of the liner, going back and forth. Refer 03, dark brown, stamping this right up against the lash line. And then I'm going to run just a little bit of that close to the lower lash line. BK Beauty 204, last shade. I'm going to pop this on the inner corner and kind of blend up and downward. After I get this laid down, I'm going to go add on just mascara. Now let's move on to my look that I have on right now using the Tropic palette. With this look, I was a little less literal. I played with this one some more. I took the inspiration from the colors that you would find at the beach and in those pictures, you know, the sand, the sky, the ocean, and just what I feel whenever I go to the beach, the dance of the water. You know how whenever you're looking at the waves or just the water where it's flat when it's further back and it just kind of has that sparkle. I wanted to play with those effects on my eyes and I really like the way that this came out. So now that you understand why I did what I did, let me show you how I did it. Refer number one and Sahara, starting in the crease with this shade. Back and forth windshield wiper motions. Start bringing it around on the outer portion, on the outer corner right here. Rounding it out. I'm going to start blending upward and outward. Blending this on the inner portion of my eye right here as well. I'm taking my time and just kind of building as I go. Same shade on a Nabla pointed crease. Buffing this right along the lower lash line. Original Refer 01 and Coco. I'm going to tap this on the outer corner. Then I'm going to start working it upward into the crease. Smoking out this outer 
corner. Same shade on an ESIM 5. I'm going to kind of buff this right up against the lash line. Refer 02 and Laguna. I'm going to tap this on the center portion of my lid. Then lightly start going right over the edge of the dark brown or cocoa. MAC 242 Mint Frost. I'm going to start by tapping this on the front portion of my eye before I start tapping over the blue. I'm going to bring it up just a little bit as well. If you can see, I'm using like these tapping motions, the same thing I did with the blue. I'm using this dry, but I do have quite a bit of product on my brush. The trick is to really press, stamp this into the skin, and I didn't set my eye. Now I'm going to start going over the blue. As you can see, I'm bringing this upward. Now, the reason why I put that blue down, the dark matte blue, or it's really a bright blue, but um, I only put that down so that I would have a little bit of depth right underneath this shade towards the outer corner. Which is why it didn't matter if it was blended out or anything like that. BK Beauty 202 blending right around the edges. Going back in with Coco on my Refer 01. I'm going to press this on the outer corner. And then lightly start tapping right over the lid a little bit up into the outer portion just making sure everything kind of meshes together right here I'm adding some depth back into the look esum w23 and limoncello highlighting the brow arch Laguna on a MAC 242. You don't have to do this if you don't want to, but I'm just stamping this in my waterline. And what's going to hold it there is basically the fact that it's my waterline. It's wet. <laughs> Go figure. I finished off the look with a little bit of limoncello right on the inner corner. Brown liner, liquid liner for the top, mascara, and then boss milk liner on the top inner rim. All right, you guys, that is it. I hope you all enjoyed these two looks. I really, really, really enjoyed sitting down and playing. I spent a lot more time on these eye looks than I would say that I traditionally do because I was just sitting here and enjoying it. Instead of rushing through or feeling like, oh, I got to come up with a quick look, I felt inspiration. And I really enjoyed that about this because it's something that I miss about just sitting down and playing. And I felt like with this collaboration and having the inspiration picks and having, you know, the two different palettes and just playing, it was nice. It was just really, really nice. I enjoyed this so much. And I love all of these ladies that I got to collaborate with today. Please make sure that you check them out. I can't wait to see their looks and watch them create them and find out what inspired them from the pictures. I just find it all to be very interesting. And these ladies, are so, so talented. You guys will be missing out if you do not go check them out. I will have all of them listed down below. Make sure you show them awesome love, and I will see you, Denona darlings, in my next one. Bye, guys.